Waffle TV. I'm here with some of the members of The Last Great Hunt. How are you guys doing? Really good, thanks. Excited Super to be good. here. Super good. So tell us a bit about your show. Well, um, Bruce uh, is kind of like an action-adventure mm. comedy, um, and it's kind of like a solo show, where the, except with a puppet. And the, this is the puppet, this is Bruce, and he actually ends up playing a bunch of different mm. uh, characters, um, kind of right. like a solo show would, would do. So um, this is him as a base character, and uh, so I do, the, I do the head and Wyatt does the hands. Oh, nice. and, um, and basically it came about because we wanted to... It's not often that you have a puppet. Usually they're designed to play a particular character. Yeah. yeah. Um, and we're like, what if a, what if the puppet can play multiple characters, much like a yeah. solo show? Anyway, so she, so that was like the basic premise. And so you have you have Bruce, who's you know, you know, you can do a character like this, and mm, yes, very interesting. Thanks for having us on the show. <gasps> What's that over there? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and gonna fight him, gonna smash him up good. So, mm, so that's kind of the, um, yes, fascinating. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Tell me about yourself. Mm. So anyway, we, we, we had lots of fun. Um, oh, God. <laughs> oh, my life. No one's coming to the show. Please come and see the show. I need the money. I need to drink more Bulmers, which is a tasty beverage. Huh? Ah, mm. oh, yeah. So how do you guys come up with, you know, because you always use such interesting sort of resources in, mm. your, in your performances. Yeah. How do you come up with it? How do you decide what things you're going to this use? This is one of the first puppets we made. Yeah, right. yeah. But yeah, so Wyatt and I lived together about six or seven years yeah. ago, and uh, we were just... Um, Fascinated with puppets. We'd gone through a massive binge of a uh, television show. You might have caught, heard of it called The Muppets. Muppets? Yeah. Yeah. The Muppet? Yeah. The Muppet. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. But um, <laughs> we were just wanting to make some puppets to experiment on, and a friend of ours who's a set designer said, why don't you just start with blocks of foam? And we found a mattress on the side of the road and used a bread knife and cut out a shape, and that ended up becoming... This is probably the third or the second one we cut out? This is the second. And then it was just like, oh, wow, that's fascinating how much fun just a piece of foam is. And we were mm. eventually... Like, we originally planned to put hats and sunglasses and all this other stuff on it, but we found that the more complicated part was the less engaging it was. Yeah, and we um, the whole show was uh, is kind of devised in front of a mirror, mm-hmm. and then we'll put together little bits and then perform them for friends. And so, actually, the the whole style came about. We used to do them at um, like stand up comedy nights, mm. um, and just I like, put together little sketches, like variety of different stuff, just an experimental little mm. bit, and it got really good responses. So we, about five years later, we decided to put a theatre show together with him, and uh, yeah, and as a I guess the challenge for that was taking something which sort of started as like a five minute skit yeah. mm-hmm. and turning that into an, a satisfying hour long story. So this is actually, I don't know if people are familiar with other shows that are brought here before, Alvin Sputning and It's Dark Outside. Yeah. There's not many words and it's uh, quite a um, simple story. This one has the most, uh, I guess, elaborate and sophisticated story we've put together. Um, mm. And that was kind of necessary to make what is fun to watch feel like satisfying and sustain your attention mm. for a whole hour. So it's got a bunch of plot twists and we won't spoil. Both those shows are quite stripped back. Yeah. But this is even more yeah. bare bones. This yeah. is just like, one block of foam, two gloves for an hour. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's like just so audaciously it's, simple was kind of the um right. the, the premise. So yeah. how do you come up with your sort of storylines and everything? Because oh. yeah. from what I've seen of you guys before, it's really, really beautiful work. Oh, and it's thanks. really moving. Oh, so shucks. what's the sort of process for you guys to you know achieve those kinds of well, stories? Well, it, uh, it's funny. Working on Bruce like seven years ago actually came to define um, the process for uh, my other shows um, where it was a lot of just improvising in front of a mirror because whenever we sort of would think about, oh, this would be a good idea for a scene or mm. um, let's do this, when it came time to... I don't know, doing it, it just kind of fell a bit flat and didn't have yeah. the magic. So we, um, we, so instead we improvise in front of the mirror and then at the end of a week perform it to an audience and get feedback on it. Um, so it I really comes, it comes about out. through through just the play mm. between Wyatt and I. And because that's, I, think, yeah. I think when you uh, say, oh, let's make a scene where character Y falls in love, whatever, mm. you kind of, everyone, everyone performing it kind of knows what's going to happen, so it's a bit, no, there's no magic in it. Whereas if you find yourself surprising each other, mm. and which is the play with the mirror, you're going to find something that is much more joyful and surprising. Yeah. And so whether or not it ends up with this person falling in love or whatever, it doesn't matter because you're finding a new joyful moment. And I think mm. that's what happens when you yeah. perform to each other in front of the mirror, even if 
there's no audience when we're devising there's yeah. still that connection with the mirror yeah, yeah Bruce kind of exists in the space between Wyatt mm. and I like um, uh, I might start with a particular offer um, of um, you know th- thanks for having us here on this interview well, that's a nice microphone and then uh, but whatever Wyatt ends up doing is what I have to follow with I might have a little packet of chips yeah, a gun! There's a gun in every packet of chips. Uh, um, that's a bullet. Uh, oh, God, no, no. Don't play with guns. And so, like, I don't know. That's, yeah. you know, like, whatever. Yeah, it's it's this... Uh, we just improvised that, by the way. Oh, yeah. yeah. If you guys thought we brought that along, <laughs> like, really little piece. prepared. Like, yeah, yeah. Oh, they did their chips gum yeah. thing. No? <laughs> yeah, that's just... So, why do you... What do you g- what do you want the audience to feel at the end of this particular show? What do you want to come out, come out and feel mm. from your audience? If you know I, I mean? want them to come out feeling, I need to tell my friends <laughs> <laughs> to come and see the show. Um, for, for me, this show was... Um, I, I have such fun doing it. And, I mean, I, I certainly really enjoy performing my other shows at Stark Outside and Alvin. But particularly at Stark Outside was very... Um, it kind of really crashes the audience yeah. by the end. It's quite a... Uh, so th- this one, although it, it does have some sad bits and some and some heart and I hope some feels, uh, it's got a, overall it's it's a real joyous and fun mm. show. So I really hope people feel just punching the air with joy yeah. and mm. like and you know like smart like hurt, hurty face. You yeah. know when you have hurty face yeah. from yeah. from smiling like too much. much yeah. That's like, kind of what I hope for. It's a bit of a, a roller coaster of a, a character who's always fucking things up. But in the end, maybe he, it all works out. My You'll room. have to see yeah. it. Yeah, I have to come along and see the show. Yeah. <laughs> I guess the kind of premise is um, Bruce, who's a bit of a he's a bit of a screw up, yeah. and um, he's trying to trying to make amends for the for the Mistakes. shitty things that he's done oh to people, God. and trying to be there for the birth of his mm. son. With it. Yeah, hopefully he doesn't give too much away. But, yeah. um, Spoiler yeah. alert, we have to put that at the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for speaking thank us you. today, guys. Hey, thank it's been you. Great seeing you guys. Thank You've you. been watching Waffle TV, sponsored by Bulmers. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you.